everybody, my name's Kirk. Welcome to Connect. La -da -da. I have a question for you. Which Christmas decorations are your favorite? Ornaments? I'm being an ornament. There's the hook, get it? Or lights? Well, at Connect HQ, Mike's got both, but they're not quite what he expected. Now we have a point that we need to learn. I'm gonna say it, I need you to repeat it after me. Are you ready? Da -da -da. All right, here we go. Be grateful for all God gives. You nailed it. All right, now we're gonna go to worship. It's one of my favorite things that we get to do, and it's Christmas, so let's build a snowman. Let's do the snowman. Let's throw a snowball, and let's go to Connect HQ right now. I love it when we get to connect to God through singing and dancing, especially around Christmas time. During Christmas, we celebrate the greatest gift God has ever given us, His only Son, Jesus. And you know what? We can give Jesus a Christmas gift right now by singing and dancing with all our might. So let's get up on our feet and sing some Christmas songs together.
silent night A star was shining bright A little town of Bethlehem The angels sing Jesus, you
survive this? Oh. 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 Hey, Jim. Uh, Maurice had something come up last minute, so he asked me to fill in. So I did the, the thing. Oh. Oh. But you know what that means? It's time for Maurice's Christmas Spectacular Special with me, Mike, as the host. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Okay. I, oh, are we rolling? Um, I am so grateful. Nope. Natural. Calm. I am so grateful that you guys are here with us. Maurice's fantastic Christmas special is one of the highlights of my year. And it's a time to celebrate Christmas with gratefulness and gladness. Wait, ho hold on. Um, Jim, what, what's this? It's the string of turtles Maurice asked for. I I think he might have meant a string of tinsel, not turtles. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> well, I mean, that's fine. I mean, it wouldn't be a Maurice Christmas special if something didn't go wrong, am I right? I mean, like that time he forgot to wrap the presents, or the time that the hot chocolate exploded. Or the time he set fire to the basement. Thank you, Jim. Uh, but no matter what happens, we can be grateful because God is so good. Which leads me to Maurice's memory book. Maurice really loved it. When a walk-in named Bree came in and learned about gratefulness from me and Rodney because we were praising God for all the things he's done for us. Bree, how long are we gonna sit here? How long does it take a person to start worshiping? It's not something you can plan on. <sighs> hey, I have an idea. Here, you stay here. I'm gonna go talk to him like I normally would. I promise it will not interfere with your study. Thinking on your feet. I like it. Do it. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! Where did you come from, Mike? <laughs> <sighs> Now, what are you wearing? Uh, I am trying out a new uniform. Okay. I don't think khaki's your color. I know, right? Oh, so what are you doing? I'm just looking over footage from the outside that I took earlier this week. Oh, look at that mountain, it's beautiful. Good job, Rodney. <laughs> well, it's not me. It's God. God made that mountain. And God made every tree. And every bird, God made everything that we see and everything that we don't see, no matter how big or small. That's, that's amazing. For sure, God is awesome. God is awesome. And I need to do something to show him how awesome I think he is. I know what I have to do. Hmm? Impromptu worship dance party time! Impromptu worship dance party time! <laughs> Rodney had it right. God is so big and awesome that we should be thankful for everything he's done. Gratefulness is being thankful no matter what you have. And I'm grateful for our first guest, the Sassy Toon Carolers from Saskatoon. They're not here. What? They're snowed in in Saskatoon. Okay, uh, well then we'll just move to our next guest. He is. Merry Christmas, and he's one of the greatest snow sculptors in the region. He's incredible. He went home, there is no snow. Okay, that is disappointing, but I've learned that no matter what happens, I can be grateful. <sighs> like you're getting ready for another memory. <laughs> I am. 
because it reminds me of the time that Jake was captain for a day and things did not go his way. So, what are we looking at here, Captain? I've got a plan to strategically bring more people to Connect HQ. I've set up lemonade stands all around the community to raise awareness for what we do here. Great idea, Jake. Thanks. I've got Tony down there running the whole operation. We're just waiting on a lemon delivery, which should be here any minute. Oh, what is it? I got a call this morning. The lemons aren't coming. What? They said there was a late frost that caused a shortage. No lemons until next week. No lemons. Got a bunch of lemonade stands, but no lemons. Can't have lemonade without lemons. We have other things, like potatoes. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Potato juice. Potato juice stands. Everyone likes potato juice, right? No. Oh, you're right. We're doomed. How can I be thankful for this day when I don't have what we need for success? Well, I don't think we're doomed. I know this verse from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Say it with me like this. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. Give thanks no matter what happens. Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank Him because you believe in Christ Jesus. God wants you to thank Him because you believe in Christ Jesus. Jake learned that he could be grateful no matter what. And did you like that verse he learned? It comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Say it with me like this. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank Him because you believe in Christ Jesus. Things went wrong with Jake's lemonade stand, but he chose to be grateful anyways. When things don't go your way, it's normal to feel unhappy and ungrateful. But when you catch yourself feeling that way, ask God to help you and remind you of who He is and what He's done. It's really hard to be grateful, especially when you're not feeling it. But Jesus is here to help us. And I just noticed something really special. This is Maurice's grandma's famous fantastical fantasy fruitcake. There is nothing like it. It is amazing. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I'm so excited. You know what? I'll just eat the whole thing. Huh. Okay, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll take off a piece. Uh, do you want something to cut that with? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. I mean, this, this is, there's seriously, Maurice's grandma's fruitcake is, there's nothing like it. it it's, it's amazing. Just sometime, every once in a while, she puts a little too much flour in it and it gets a little dry and a little tough. Oh. <gasps> okay. Maurice might or might not have chipped a tooth once. Well, another mishap. But you know what? I'm still grateful. And this reminds me of a Bible story about gratefulness, the one where Mary pours her perfume at Jesus' feet. Do you have that one, Jim? Yep, roll Bible link. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive, see the wonderful stories inside. Every day I'm searching, read through history and poetry. How much Jesus loves me, God's great story lives. There's no other book like this, this book is alive. One day, Jesus and his disciples went to Bethany. Jesus had friends who lived there, Lazarus and his two sisters, Mary and Martha. They were all very excited to see Jesus. They prepared a dinner in Jesus' honor. Martha served, and Lazarus ate with Jesus. Then Mary took a jar of really, really, really expensive perfume and poured it over Jesus' feet. 
When she was finished, she wiped Jesus' feet with her hair. Mary did this to show how grateful she was to God for sending Jesus to them. The perfume smelled so wonderful, the whole house was filled with its fragrance. But Judas, the disciple who would soon betray Jesus, was not happy. That perfume was so valuable. It cost a whole year's worth of pay. We should have sold it and given the money to the poor. Judas didn't really care about the poor at all. He was a thief, and since he was in charge of the disciples' money, he often stole some for himself. Selling the perfume would mean more money for him. Judas was selfish and ungrateful, but Jesus defended Mary. Leave her alone. She is doing this because she understands what is about to happen to me. She is showing me great honor while she can, while I'm here. She won't always be able to do this. Mary was grateful, and that helped her do a great thing for Jesus. Choosing gratefulness makes us generous. Like Mary, she was so grateful for what God had done for her that she poured her expensive perfume on Jesus' feet and wiped it with her hair. Judas chose to be ungrateful, and it made him selfish and dishonest. I, I don't, Jim, what are you doing? I don't. I'm giving you the sign that it's time for a commercial. Oh, oh, well, we'll be right back after this commercial break. It's Christmas time again. And the holidays just wouldn't be complete without Maurice's Christmas Special. This year, give your family what they really want, the right. best of Maurice's Christmas Special. Relive every joyful moment as your favorite maintenance man rings in the holidays in style. Get your copy of the best of Maurice's Christmas Special today. Available on two DVD, 17 VHS tapes, or eight and a half laser discs. Order today. Friends, we've come to Maurice's favorite part of the show, the Christmas Lights Extravaganza. This place is about to be lit up with thousands of twinkling lights that spell the words, joy to the world, the Lord has come. Um, Mike? Now let's take down the lights and start the extravaganza. Okay. Ha! Uh, extravaganza! Lights up, lights up, what now? So when I got to the store, they only had one string of lights left. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. It's, it's not your fault. I'm just a little bummed out about all the problems we've been having today. I really wanted to do a good job for Maurice. I guess that makes it hard to be grateful. No, I still have so much to be grateful for. We can be happy and find joy in any situation. You know, that reminds me of a time when Alyssa, Tony, and I were trying to find a way to cheer up Captain Ray. I mean, just Ray. Normal Ray. You can do it. You got this. You got this. Come okay. on, Alyssa. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Just go break it. Karate chop. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Oh, that was so cool. Captain Ray is gonna love watching you break this board. She's gonna be so proud of you. And I think so too. Which reminds me of something that I need to praise God for. God, thank you so much for my friend Ray. She has such a big heart for everyone she meets. And she's such a great example for me. Thank you for the joy you've brought me and bringing her into my life. Amen. All right, that's it. Mission accomplished. We've each recorded something that makes us happy. I'm positive Captain Ray will be happy too once she sees everything we've done. Guys, I think we've been thinking about this all wrong. What do you mean? Well, Captain Ray said that she tried all these things that make her happy, but she still feels sad sometimes. Well, just wait until she sees the videos we've made. They'll definitely make her happy. I'm sure they will, for a little while. But that kind of happiness doesn't last forever. I think Captain Ray needs joy. There's nothing better than the feeling God gives us when we're thankful for who he is and all he's done for us. And no matter what, joy never leaves us. Exactly. The prayers we said today, those are the kind of things that we can do to give us joy that lasts. Alyssa, Tony, and I remember that when we're grateful for all God's done for us, it gives us a joy that lasts. It's like Maurice's grandma says, be grateful for all God gives. And we can stay grateful by thinking about all the things God's done for us. He's there for us. He watches over us. He protects us. 
and he'll never leave us. There's just so much to be grateful for. And you know what? I'm grateful for you, Jim. Me? Yeah, and I got you a little something as a way of saying thanks for helping out with the Christmas special. Oh, thank you, Mike. I'm grateful. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. I'm grateful for you being here. I hope you guys have a Christmas filled with love, joy, and thankfulness. Merry Christmas! Hi, I'm Mike and I'm a part of Connect HQ and I want to talk to you about being grateful. Gratefulness is choosing to be thankful and happy no matter what you have or don't have. And God helps us to be grateful. The Bible says it like this, 1 Thessalonians 5.18, give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank Him because you believe in Christ Jesus. You cannot be grateful and ungrateful at the same time, so choose gratefulness. Mary showed her gratefulness to Jesus by pouring expensive perfume on his feet. We can show our gratefulness by being generous to others with our stuff, our time, and our talent. Many things went wrong with Maurice's Christmas special this year, but with Jesus, I'm still grateful because his goodness never changes. We can't choose everything that happens in life but we can choose whether we are grateful or ungrateful. We can learn to be grateful for all God gives. It's a great way to live your life. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Okay, so this shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it's just one string of lights that are tangled, I mean, what? I feel like the system I have developed here is not... I don't know how this happened. I never get tired of talking about gratefulness. God has done so much that we'll never run out of things to be grateful for. And the thing I'm the most grateful for is that Jesus loves me and I get to be his follower. And you can be his follower too. All you have to remember are your ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. If you decide to follow Jesus, be sure to talk about it with a parent or leader you trust. That is the most important decision that you can make. If you wanna know more about that, I want you to talk about it as a family before we finish today. All right, we have a verse that we need to learn. I'm gonna say it, I want you to say it with me. Are you ready? Here we go. 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank Him because you believe in Christ Jesus. Christmas is coming, and even if you don't get every gift that you want, there are still lots of things you do have that you can thank God for. Play a thankful game together. Say things you're thankful for that start with each letter of the alphabet. I'll give you an example. A, I am thankful for apples. B, I am thankful for biscuits. Uh, C, I am thankful for carrots. Actually, why don't you pause the video? You can play together as a family. I'm gonna go get a little snack. I'll be right back. Z, I am thankful for zebra cakes. Mm. When you're upset, about the things that you don't have, ask God for help, and then thank Him for the things you do have. There is a lot to be grateful for. Now we have some fantastic questions for you to answer as a family. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me in Connect today, and I will see you later.
We're going down.